So, where do you stand with your AI skills? Are you one of those people that think you're on the cutting edge just because you use ChatGPT a couple times each week? Or are you more like me and no matter how much you learn, you still feel like you're falling behind? Because you know there are people out there building highly, highly profitable businesses using AI and a team of just one or two people. It's very hard to know where you stand on the spectrum of learning AI, but by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly where you stand and exactly what to do about it to move ahead in this new world of AI. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. So, in order to effectively assess your AI skills, you need to break down your role into its separate components. One powerful tool for doing this is something I've come up with called the IPO framework, which stands for Input, Process, and Output. This framework helps you understand and analyze what you do by dividing it into three fundamental stages. In the input stage, we're looking at how you can use your AI skills to gather resources, information, or all the materials that you need to do your work. In the process section, we're looking at how to use AI to convert your input into a desired output. This is process automation at its best. And finally, in the output stage, we're going to assess how you use AI in order to create the things that are the final product, the result, or the outcome of your process. This IPO framework can help you really assess your AI skills and gain a clear understanding of the specific components that make up your role and where you may be lacking when using AI. Let's dive a little deeper into the input section. So in the initial input stage of the IPO framework, you need to evaluate your ability to gather and work with necessary data and information. This is crucial as the quality and relevance of your inputs directly impact the efforts of your outputs. So think about how are you using AI to stay up with market trends, customer profiles, and performance metrics. The top tool I use for this is Perplexity. Perplexity is a powerful research tool that allows you to gather all sorts of inputs that can help you do your job better. So now it's time to score yourself for how well you use AI to gather inputs. Do you use Perplexity or other tools to gather inputs for your work? If not, give yourself a zero. If you have a little bit, give yourself a one. If you've used it consistently to enhance your work, give yourself a two. And if you're methodically using it on a regular basis as part of your work, give yourself a three. All right, now let's move on to the process section of your AI assessment. In the process stage of the IPO framework, we're gonna evaluate your ability to plan, analyze, execute, and communicate what you do using AI. The top tool I use for this is the Custom GPT. I've got a video on how to automate any process, which I'll link to now. Custom GPTs are powerful tools for enhancing various aspects of your AI processes. From data analysis to task automation and decision support, they can be tailored to your specific needs and help streamline your workflows. Now it's time to score yourself. Have you never used a Custom GPT? Give yourself a zero. Have you tried it once? Give yourself a one. You've tried them a little bit and used them to enhance your work, give yourself a two. Now, if you're methodically using them on a regular basis as part of your work, give yourself a three for the process section. Now let's move on to the output section. So some outputs that you might be thinking of are reports, products, services themselves. They can be measured by levels of satisfaction and engagement among customers, employees, and stakeholders. My top tool for this is Claude. Claude is a powerful tool for generating high quality messaging and content that can enhance your AI outputs. By leveraging Claude's capabilities, you can produce compelling and effective communication materials with minimal editing required. Once again, now it's time to score yourself. If you've never used Claude or any AI tools to generate your outputs, give yourself a zero. If you've tried using Claude or some other tool to generate outputs for your work, give yourself a one. If you're using tools on a consistent basis, give yourself a two. And if you're methodically using Claude or some other AI tool to generate great outputs for your work, give yourself a three. Now let's tally up your score. Add all of the scores from the last three sections together. I think most people would be in the zero to two range. So if you're above that, I think you can consider yourself an intermediate. And if you're in the seven, eight, or nine range, I think you could consider yourself getting close to an expert at this stuff. But there's always a level deeper that you can go, and that's why I wanna dive in next to, first of all, a few extra tools that I didn't mention, and then a few different ways you can customize this analysis deeply into your specific role. Zapier is another tool that I didn't mention, which is a very powerful process automation tool that plugs into ChatGPT. I've covered this in some videos, and they create some really great videos themselves. So if your weakness is process, I would check out Zapier. Notebook LM is a knowledge-based software 
that Google has created, which is a very, very powerful way to process information. So this is another tool that can be helpful either on the input stage if you're lacking there or on the process stage as well. Midjourney is a tool for creating great AI images. If the output of your job is to create anything image related, you want to check out Midjourney. Similarly, if you're working with video, Runway ML can be a great tool to add into your output stage of the IPO framework. And now let's jump into the cheat sheet so I can show you how to customize this approach very specifically to what you do. The first example here we're going to look at is the IPO framework for marketing. The input for marketing is market research, customer feedback, competitor analysis, industry trends, and even a brand audit, so a deep understanding of your brand. You can use AI tools to help you figure out how to improve all of the different inputs, all the different ways you're collecting information in these areas if you're in marketing. Now looking at the process phase for this marketing example, here are a few processes that marketers may want to focus on. Target audience identification, market strategy development, marketing mix optimization, creative campaign planning, and budget allocation. So these may be some areas to focus your learning of AI if you need to work on your process section. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a second. Now getting into the outputs here. So breaking down the outputs of a marketing role into marketing campaigns, brand positioning, customer engagement, lead generation, and sales growth. So these are some areas that you might wanna focus on using AI if you're in marketing when it comes to the output stage of your IPO framework. But every single role has a different group of these inputs, processes, and outputs. In fact, probably every person out there has a slightly different uh, group of inputs, processes, and outputs. Here are some more examples. If you're in leadership, if you are in charge of running a company or a division, here are some inputs and some additional tools that you might want to use. And similarly with process for the leadership group, and output, clear vision and direction, effective communication, etc. I have one here for a salesperson. If you're in sales, these are the things you want to focus on. Feel free to grab a screenshot of that, or you can jump into the Patreon and get access to this and over 80 cheat sheets just like this with tons of resources. We have over 100 prompts in this cheat sheet alone. Here's the project management example. If your role is in project management, customer support example if your role is in customer support or if you manage people in these areas these are the places you want them to be focused on here's a recruiting example if your job is in recruiting finance example if your job is in finance but something really exciting i've created here is a custom gpt for finding your unique ipo framework let me show you how this works so there's a link in the description of this video for where you can join my Patreon and get access to this cheat sheet. And that'll also give you access to this custom GPT, which will help you map out your IPO framework, your input process output framework for your particular job. This will help you really focus your efforts when it comes to learning how to use AI for your very specific role. I'm just putting in an example here that I'm a blogger in the real estate industry. Let me see what it comes up with. There you go. This has all of your inputs on what you need to be focusing on using AI for, all of the processes of what you need to be focusing on using AI for, and all of the outputs for your job that give you a roadmap on how to use AI for your outputs. Let me show you another example here. I manage a local bakery. Let's see what it comes up with for inputs, processes, and outputs. These are all of the things you can use AI for when you're managing a bakery. Inputs, gathering and organizing supplier information, gathering and organizing sales data, customer feedback, staff schedules, processes, inventory management, quality control, outputs. So this gives you a solid roadmap of how you can implement AI in your specific business. Here's a very basic prompt for that. I prefer the outputs of the custom GPT, but this is just a basic prompt you can use to sketch out some of your input processes and outputs. And here are some follow-up prompts you can use with that to help you further dive into exactly how AI can help you with each one of those sections of your job or your area of expertise. 
I've also included in the cheat sheet tons of prompts. There's over 100 prompts related to various aspects of people's business. So content creation exercises, if that's what you do, market research exercises, if that's related to what you do, all of these can help you improve your skills in these areas that many people uh, are in. Customer engagement exercises, these are each prompts that can help you uh, excel in these different areas. Let me show you just how one of these prompts work. Again, there's about 100 in here. I'm just gonna copy and paste that straight into ChatGPT. And just like that, with that one prompt, this is scheduling out your entire week for a social media marketing campaign. And finally, at the end of this, one prompt that'll improve your business every day for the rest of time. This can also be thought of as one prompt to improve your career or your area of expertise every day for the rest of time. This is a long prompt and I keep the same chat string going because each day it says, give me a small exercise or concept to focus on related to one of these areas, leadership, back office, operations, and business development. This is primarily if you're running a business, but if you uh, want to adjust this, you can easily adjust this to be, you know, fitness on one section and, um, you know, finance in another section and, uh, you know, personal uh, career development in a third section. So in that way, you can customize this prompt to give you an exercise each day to help you improve on those different aspects of your life. Thanks a ton for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of this. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything you have a question about. I get some of my best video ideas in the comments and consider joining my Patreon. I've got over 80 cheat sheets just like this one. All of that is immediately available to anyone who joins my Patreon. There's over a dozen custom GPTs in there just like the ones I've showed you. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. So check all that stuff out. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, do that, smash that like button, and I will see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true!